everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will be filming my USA planner haul today. Um, I've I came back yesterday. I haven't filmed in two weeks. I've missed you guys. I hope you've all been well. Uh, it was a long journey home. I was a bit nervous because I was scared that my fra more fragile items wouldn't make it in the transit because you know how people, the baggage handlers are in airlines. They tend to just throw things around. So, But everything made it. Everything's all good. So I think we're just going to get started because I have a few things. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot if you know what I mean. Um, I will start with the bulky things first. Um, and I will start, I will probably go by shop rather than by um, items. So I'll start with Michael's first. And the first thing I want to show you is the this case. All right, I'm very, I need it lift my camera but if I do that's gonna um, wobble around but you can see what it is it's the recollections acrylic three draw case um, I bought three of these uh, it's not small it's a very good size it's adequate size I wanted to store all my washing I was storing it in I'll show you what I was storing it in I was storing, and this is like my designer washi, the boutique washi. I was storing it in one of these Erin Condren boxes that is, um, this was like the surprise box, one of the surprise boxes, the autumn surprise box. So it was like this basically, and it was all, almost full, but I didn't realize how big these drawers were. I will show you what I've already, I've already, I bought three of them, so I've already, transferred some over just to see and there's the three drawers right there if you can see oh, you're really up high let me just zoom you out hold on okay so um as you can see there's three drawers and they're very decent in size i will open this one i'll take it out so you can see so there's three slots and they they're divided um into three slots. They've got dividers, I should say. And it's a very nice cube pattern. I don't know if you can see, it's like a wave, which is so pretty. And it's got a silver handle, as you can see over here. Oops. I've turned my camera around, so I'm a bit, it's a bit, yeah. So this washi, this storage unit will be for um, the Bloomsicle. So I've got Bloomsicle first um, drawer. I've got Tickle Pink in the back because I've only got th three washi and this washi was from Arctic Paper Studio but my Bloomsicle will sit in this drawer. Uh, I do have some that arrived while I was away. The second drawer is my all my washi from uh, Marshmallow Studio and I've got some Packer Post at the back and this is the Dove I think. Oh, I can't remember. I've got this in a D stash, it's so cute. Um, but eventually, hopefully, I'll have a drawer of the Bloomsicle, Marshmallow Studio, and Tickled Pink. I mean, look, they're very empty at the moment. You can see how empty they are, but you know, I'm glad because that means, you know, I see all these cases filled with washi, it just means it holds a lot. Uh, I'll show you the and this is all my Simply Gilded washi. Oops, it moved around. So the top drawer, I'll, I'm looking at doing all my bow washi. The second drawer is, these are mainly sub box items. These are, uh, some of them are new release items like this one, but most of these I've got on D in D stashes. So, you know, I just started collecting, well, it's not even a collection because I will be using it, but I just started with Simply Gilded, so this is all I have so far. So the bow washi sets will go at the top. The second drawer is for the single 15mm uh, and the single 10mm washi. And then the bottom drawer, which they've moved around, will be all my 5mm washi. So all the skinny washi, all the add-ons that I get. 
so that's all all I have right now I'll just show you this is all I have right now so these are all the, the five millimeters I've got as of this moment but you know I suspect by it'll be interesting to see by the end of the year what how my cases look and I will update you on that so I bought three of those and I put them away because they are very bulky um, they were on special usually they're $30 uh, USD which is mm, roughly around $40 AUD I would say I ended up getting them for $15 USD which uh, I think it was about $20 and some change which you know they're pretty awesome it's pretty awesome so I'm gonna keep an eye out and my son's father will be coming to Australia in two months so if they're still on special I'm gonna tell him to bring some more over us okay so that was the first thing from Michaels I'll show you this the other things I got from Michaels is some papers which you know I I like to um, make my own dashboards this is this is mainly for my TNs to set up TNs to make dashboards to you know um, change it around a bit when I can okay so oh, I've got others I'll show you all this so all this haul is from Michael's um, what I'm showing you so I got this gorgeous it's just a 12 by 12 cardboard or cardstock it's only one sided but it, oh, I think you can see I don't need to take it out it's gorgeous rose gold foiled uh, ro oh, they, they look like roses but I think they're peonies let's see if it tells me no nope, it just says it's foil paper so I got this this was two dollars and I saw these gorgeous um, 12 by 12 they look like square doilies so they've got this lace doily pattern on the side and it's just a square and I've seen some planner girls uh, use them for the teeing lock on the side pocket so once I've got two more teens to set up so I'll show I will definitely be using this like you can fold them and or have cut them up and have just the edge showing I'm just excited to use this I've been wanting I couldn't find anything in Australia like this so I got this in the pink and I also got it in the white and I think they had like a pearl white or a silver but I only got the two and again that was two dollars the other things I bought are some vellum. So I bought this gorgeous, and this is Recollections. And the paper doesn't say where it's from. Oh, it does. It's, uh, it just says Anna Griffith. So I don't know if that's the, I don't know. So anyway, I got this vellum, which is gold, like a, a damask type of print. It's gold foiled, you can see. And this is Recollections. This was 99 cents. So all prices, just so you know, um, are in USD, so American dollars. Then I've got this other one. This It's just white and it's got a print on it. I think you can see uh, a white print. And this is, this isn't Recollections. I don't know what this is. This was 99 cents and just a marbled vellum, if you can see that and again it's not recollections and that was 99 cents the other thing i got was just some marble paper these were this is gray marble and this is a recollections paper i think these were 89 cents or 99 cents now the papers i bought were full price however i did have a discount coupon um of 15 cents or 15 cents i mean 15 percent off so I'm, the prices I'm giving you are the full prices, so I don't know what 15%, I didn't work it out. Uh, I also got this floral, this is double sided, the marble is only, oh the marble is also double sided. This is double sided and I loved this print, it, it's vintage rose, that's what came to my mind. And then you've got this other print on the back, this is also a recollections paper, this was 99 cents. And then again, this is double-sided, 
but I liked, I love this pattern. I'm a floral girl. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you know I'm floral. I'm all about the florals. I love the floral prints. So this was again, Recollections, 99 cents, double-sided. And then this is also Recollections, another foiled um, cardstock. Uh, it's flowers. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it's a silver foil, grey on a silver foil. So, and it's one-sided. Okay, so they're my papers that I got from Michaels. Okay, then we get on to, let me just move all that. I don't want to distract you. So we're getting on to the goodies, the sticker books. Now, I went to two Michaels. The sticker books were basically almost sold out. Uh, they had 40% off on sticker books. I was after the Chrissy and I wanted to look at some one-time things, but they didn't have it. The two Michael stores I went to just didn't have to have any one-time in their store. Uh, they were getting it in, but they had it hadn't rolled into their store yet. I had to cross into another state to buy it, and I wasn't about to drive three hours just to see the one-time in a million um, products. So the first things I picked up, there was, like I said, uh, 40% off, no, 50% off, no, 40%. No, 50% off these planner, some of the planner's things, uh, including these gorgeous gem pens. I mean, they weren't, they were 50, they were $5 USD. Again, remember I'm doing US currency here to begin with. Let me open one. Uh, the, there was wasn't a lot on the shelf because there was a sale but I picked up these gorgeous little crystal gem pens so it's just a satin barrel and then you've got the gems in the the clear barrel up the top very reminiscent I guess it looks like almost like a gem pen knockoff you can say and it's just a let me show you just a roller a rollable uh, I think yeah it's not it's not gel it's just the normal pen so I'm excited these are so cute I don't know I've got this thing for pens lately guys I don't know what it is I don't know if every every planner person goes through it but the, there's a pen fetish that's going at the moment and I've also got it in the purple there was one a white one but I think I've already got a white one and the rest were all the same colors. So that's all they had. Then I also got these, so those were $2.50. I also got these cute embellishments. I want to use them on my clear dashboards when I get them and I'll show you how I'm gonna use them to decorate, just to give my dashboards a little bit of a sparkle. So I bought these, I think they were about $4. And of course I found my initial V all crystallized and I wanted to put this on one of my TN dashboards. So cute, I love it. Again, that's Recollections, the other gems were Recollections. And I had to buy a sticker book to use in my memory plan for my Erin Condren um, memory planner. I found this and I know there's an abundance of stickers here but I love the fact it had some washi strips and that's the main reason I bought it because I want to be able to use some of this washi in the, bo the bottom of the planner so that was the reason why I bought this and then it's got all these other USA you know stickers it's got a few stickers in there in here I don't know if it, it's got 148 stickers this was a bit pricey this is about six dollars but I figured because of all the stickers it's got it's I was expecting it not to be cheap okay so then we get on to the sticker books now this wasn't for me I don't buy happy planners I, I mean I could use them it's no reason why I couldn't use them this is actually I bought it as a present for Kim because you know you all know Kim is one of my planner friends um, she's so sweet she's so amazing she's such a lovely woman so I wanted to give her something I wanted to give back to her and I bought her this I look there was so much so much there but so much missing they had 40% off the happy planners 
there was hardly anything there was hardly any planners left i didn't see any planners apart from maybe a handful uh, i guess i went to stores that the planners just go straight away there was a bunch of books though again there were very rep the, the the books that were left were on probably about um the same book on two or three of the hooks so again i think there's a lot of books that were missing but this is the one i picked up for her i did show her a picture she um ended up picking one sorry that's upside down that's all sideways but it's actually very pretty it's a very pretty book um, and I'm actually bummed I didn't really flip through it properly to buy some for myself but you know it is what it is actually this wasn't 40 percent off I think this was 50 percent off this was ten dollars I ended up it's 19.99 full price USD I bought it for I ended up getting it for ten dollars so I bought this and then of course my main thing was getting Chrissy Ann sheets i saw these books on several of the planner youtubers that i follow and i fell in love with them um, i did i did buy five but four of mine one of them i'm gifting to my other planner friend grace uh, she re i had asked her if she wanted anything she wanted one ton in a million but you know Christiane is just as good. So I'll show you this one first. I don't know. I'm trying to unpick it. I'm back. It took me a while to get these little things off. So let's start with, I'll start with these two first. So they had two different types of books. They had five sheet and 10 sheet ones. I just got 10 sheet. The five sheet actually weren't even there. Like they had, um, spots for tickets but again they were like 40 or 50 percent off they disappeared I'm, I'm assuming they were the first things to disappear and these were the only five designs that were actually on show and there were so much more but i again people must have bought them they snatched them right up so this is basically um functional stickers i don't know if you can see in different so you've got one two three four five six seven eight of the same design or the same layout with different colors and then you've got some functional like i said a lay a sheet of the uh, functional then a sheet of icons and these look like checklists but i'll show you did i not undo this oh my gosh so let me show you the first sheet so so you've got you got a checklist then you've got some half boxes and you've got this week some build due a um, have a tracker you got some more checklists quarter boxes some little things flags a fryer another build due some icons and some script now I, I just want to show you also this is per, perforated so you could you could rip them out and you could hole punch the side here and put them in a sticker book so that same layout so that format is in different colors as you can see and then after that then you've got your icons all your little icons so you've got the phone laptop savings and you've got vacuum i was a washed car i assume this is grocery crock pot or slow cooker your car petrol fitness um, a pencil which could be studying or anything or journaling a, a clock some asterisks, love hearts, and some uh, gift boxes. And then on this one, these are actually, some of them are foiled. I don't know if you can see the foiling. And this lettering is by Cindy. I don't know if it tells you on the back. It doesn't, but these are, the, all the letting, lettering done is by Cindy, who I follow. She's, I'm, I just love her 
YouTube videos. She says it, says it as it is. She swears, which, you know, I love it. You know, she's true to herself. So this is one of the books. This book is the same, except it's just different colors. So these are more bright colors, as you can see. Let me flip it this way because I'm shadowing. So these are brighter colors. And the first book is more muted down colors. So there's those two. Then I bought this sheet, which is basically like, it's called Celebrate. I oh, know that's not called. I don't know if these have any. I'm trying to see if they're called any. No, they're not called any. So this one has bucket list. So you can see here, it's got like a winter bucket list a spring bucket list and it's got different things you know um sing with the birds i don't know about that but you know blow bubbles bringing out the umbrella uh pick wild flowers again i don't know about that and then you've got a summer bucket list a fall bucket list which we call autumn then it's got all the uh, months in different colors colorways and then you even got years and then you've got like a sheet of uh, celebration or birthdays. And then it's another sheet of just doing things, you know, um, different, different occasions. So it's got like day of silence, uh, pride month, a black history month, and that's all for some of them are foiled bubble bath day. So it's, different days and then again it's the same thing grandparents day halloween mother's day father's day and then there's a sheet of numbers so so date dots and more date dots some circles flags color flags some foiled and that's it and i wish there was more of these i'm so it's i would have bought more I'm telling you now, I would have bought a bunch if they they had more of these. These were only these three in particular. There was probably one or two left on on show. That's it. So I, I'm a bit bummed that I didn't buy more. But you know, I'm always going to go back so I can buy more. Okay, so the next book is more themed towards the season. So this is a some this is a winter themed page. And then you've got all the, whatever happens in the winter. Now, of course, for us who live in the the Southern Hemisphere, winter is the middle of the year. And this is obviously aimed for this the Northern Hemisphere people. So, of course, first day of winter is in December for them. Then you've got New Year's Eve. You've got Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then you've got Daylight Savings, Valentine's Day, and these are all foiled in silver. If you can see that, I'm trying to get the light to catch. And then the next one is Spring. So you've got a sheet of spring icons. And again, you've got a sheet of um, occasions or things that happen during that time. So i love the fact that they're all foiled in the same color it means that my planner won't be mismatched that's what i'm loving so it doesn't matter whether we're wearing winter they're in summer and or you know vice versa the fact that it's all in the same foil means that it doesn't matter what hemisphere you're from it will work out so and then you've got the months even down here foiled but it, this, they've got even tax day. And again, this lettering is from Cindy. And then you've got the summer icons. And this, this is pink foiled. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And you've got... I don't know. There's only 14 days. Okay. Maybe that's a countdown you can use it for, I guess. And this is like a washi strip. And again, you've got the summer summer script. So, oh my God, look at Donut Day. Oh my God, there's like a donut. And it's all inclusive. Like you've got, it's not, they, they have Yom Kippur, they've got um, 
Labor Day, Independence Day, Grandparents Day, you know, it's not just Christian holidays. That's it. That's the word I was trying. Holiday, holiday day. So then you've got autumn, which that's the only difference for us Australians. We say autumn, they say fall, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We can, we can, I can overlook that. And then again, you've got your holidays and then you've got headers some uh, checklists and then you've got some script and icons and yeah and that's that book and then the last book that I got was this is basically all script but it's months so you've got the months so if you bullet journal this is great for bullet journaling or if you've got undated inserts this is great for that too and i am going to be journaling i'm going to be setting up my journal soon um i'm just trying to decide i was going to have an a6 but i figured it's not big enough for me i'm looking into getting um an a5 TN to a journal and it will just be my journal. I won't have anything else on there But I'm gonna be using these so I can date my entries in a cute way So then you've got the day. So this was the month and you've got the days in the same letters Lettering and then you got the days and this is days foiled in silver days foiled in the pink and then you've got different type of lettering and you've got the months again, a days and, day, and um, date dots, I should say. Again, you've got the normal black and white foiled, silver foiled and pink foiled. And that's your 10 sheets. So that's my Chrissy and Designs sticker haul. Uh, and that's it from mine because that's what I ended up getting. I, again, I think because I went in January, I think this sale started way before, like in December, and pretty much everything was gone. I know now maybe I'll go in December. I'll have to schedule it to go in December. Okay, so the next store I went to was Hobby Lobby. And oh my goodness, I don't know if you saw my stories or any of the videos I posted on Facebook um, in our Australia, um, Addicts Australia group. It was just amazing in there. I seriously could not believe what was in there. It was so amazing, gorgeous, so many beautiful things. I wanted to bring home some flower garlands, but I knew that my space was limited especially because I had the recollections washi uh, containers but I forgot that I'll, I'm allowed to have four baggy four suitcases because I travel and my son travels and I only checked in three next time when I go believe you me I will be I think I'm gonna be getting a suitcase, one for my Michaels, one for the clothes, one for the snacks, and one for Hobby Lobby. Just amazing. Anyway, so let's get into it. So they had a special there. Um, some papers were four for a dollar. I think I got these four. I didn't get much because I didn't have a lot of the prints that I like. I had a lot of, oh, I don't know, they had a lot of prints that I wasn't really sure of, I didn't really like. So I bought, this damask top pa um, paper it looks almost like a bluey gray I don't know if you can see it and that's one-sided then I bought this the leaf it's a, like a um, those big leaf just black and white I wanted to get something it looks very art deco to me so I really like this and then I've got a purple with just a floral print and it's got like um, Oh, what's it called? I forgot. So it's like got darker edges on the side. I don't know if you can see that. And then I bought these this peonies paper because I love peonies unless and if you didn't know. So these uh, I've got some more vellum. These were 99 cents. This is foiled. 
and I've got this uh, there's it looks peonies but I can see maybe some carnations in there so this pink one it's not foil but I just want to see make sure you can see and this rose one which is a bit hard to see I don't know if you can see that so I got these vellums and the next thing I bought is they had their craft tools 40% off. I was looking to get a corner rounder, so I bought this. This was $4.99 originally. I got it for $2.50. Do I wish I bought more? Yes. Because I don't know how this works, I didn't want to buy more because it's not like I can go back and exchange it or return it. So I bought this just to see and it's just to round off corners, you know, and I, it's more for my either scrapbooking or for my um, dashboards when I make dashboards. So I got this and stickers were 40% off. So I ended up getting some Christmas stickers and you've got two sheets on both sides. These were a dollar. This was a dollar also with just the months on a clear these are both this was on this is on clear sticker paper too same as this and i got two of those because you I, I wanted to use these like for my budgeting even and then i got two of these which is just embellishments just for decoration uh again for my dashboard i bought a gold and a silver and then these were $4.99, so 40% off. It came to about $3, I think. $3, yeah. And this is just a travel, a, a booklet of travel. They had so many cute ones. But at this point, I hadn't shopped. I had to do other shopping, so I wasn't, I didn't, I should have gone back. You know when you wish you went back, but I just ran out of time because usually I'll go to the US for three weeks, two to three weeks. I only went um, 10 days because I had to come back, but I needed something like this because I travel a lot. So I got some, this has got aeroplanes, then it's got some, look how cute this is, like seriously, some passport with a boarding pass and just some boarding passes. And then you've got a backpack and your luggage, like a suitcase. And then you've got even um, some road trip stickers and some ones that say Wonderlust. These are all on clear, by the way. And then you've got road uh, trip stickers, so a scenic route. And then you've got some cars. And then this one says, go your, go your own way, which is so cute. And then you've got some more script that says just go. And then these flags with the map of the world. And then some pin pinpoint stickers. So right now, uh, okay, so it says some, you are here right now. And it just repeats in a different color way. So you've got the silver, purple, pink, aqua, and a red. And then again, more script, so adventure, vacation, some bigger uh, quote stickers. And that's it. So this was, like I said, about $3. They had a lot of, I mean, it's got 327 stickers in it. It's pretty good. These were pretty good. There's some really good ones. Then they had this bigger one. And this is more functional for me. Rather than... Look, I've been mean, I want to organize my pantry and rather than ordering stickers, when I saw this, I thought I basically hit the jackpot. Do I wish I got more? Yeah, I do. I wish I got more. You know, sometimes when you buy things, you don't know or you go back and yeah, I guess because I travel there quite often, I didn't think, well, I'm not going to be here, I better stock up type of thought. I didn't have that thought process, but I still wish I bought more. I still do. Anyway, so there were different type, again, different book types. These are, these, I don't know, this, this is the brand, me and my big idea. So basically it's like the Christiane books or the Planner Happy books or... I think they're called what are the Mambi books. I don't know what they're called, but the Happy Planner. So it's got basically different labels for containers. So 
So you've got beans, pasta, brown rice, it's so many, white rice, sugar, flour, quinoa, brown sugar, then you've got your sweet bars, tea, condiments, sauces, soup, just so much, so much. And then these, I guess, are for the big containers. And then you've got the little ones, like for your spice jars, so all spice. You've got pepper, salt, nutmeg, poultry seasoning, paprika, oregano. And then you've got more little ones. And these, these ones are on round. And these, I think, are square labels. Yeah, so these are square and these are round. These are on a round dot. That's why they look smaller. And then you've got, you've even got some empty ones or clear ones that you can write on yourself with a permanent marker. So it says here, customize your own. And then again, you got some more of the big ones. And again, they've given you stickers to customize your own. And I would assume a permanent marker will do. Um, yep, and that's all you need to do. Use a permanent felt tip marker. So these were great. These were $6 down from $10. Now, the other thing I've got from Hobby Lobby and which I'm excited about was this dish with the eyes and the eyelashes. These were, this was half price. Again, I wish, sorry, that's my son. So I bought this dish. Again, I wish there were more there, there wasn't. So the next three things I'm gonna show you, I could only find one in, so I was just, it was like I was there at the right time. They had none left. They were, these were half price. So this is just a dish with some gold trim. Then I bought this Hello Gorgeous mug, which I'm not gonna be drinking. It's way too big for my coffee, number one, but I'm gonna be using it as a pin holder because I will be setting up my desk in the coming month and then i found this gorgeous this is a travel mug okay um again half price the only one i saw there i was trying to find the target cup the the one with the the cheeks and the mat yeah sold out i couldn't find it so this is really a travel mug but hey nothing from stopping me from using it as a pen holder i mean look how cute that looks I don't know if you can see it just looks so cute so they these were all half price from Hobby Lobby and like I said I wish especially this dish I wish I could have bought more you know I, I wanted I was trying to look even just to gift them to people or to do like a um, like a giveaway but I just couldn't find any but so that's all my things from Hobby Lobby and then the next place I went to, I went to Target. I bought a bunch of makeup from Target and hair color. And then these cute, gorgeous, cute little tin holders was from the Valentine's Day collection. So you enter Target. Let me let me set this up for you. You enter Target and they have this section almost straight away. You can see it's the first thing you see. They have this section where it's all very cheap stuff and I think it was themed I think they had a few things left over from Christmas and there was so many things for Valentine's Day and they're just little trinkets and cheap things so these were a dollar each they're tin no it's it's a thin tin so you could bend this and I'm not gonna try it out to show you but see there were only a dollar and again i wanted to i don't know what i'm going to use it for i'll find a use you, you know so they i bought these three colors which i mean this is so like it's just gorgeous it's just these are things i love you can use those pen holders yes you can use for other things i also got these doilies these heart doilies and these were a dollar also and then I got the round oilies for a dollar. And there's 24 in each of these. So there's a lot. Okay, the other thing I got, they had a sale on some pens. I ended up buying some Sharpie pens. Actually, these are markers, fine markers, which 
they love the Sharpie pens. I think they've got the same tip. And I bought the Pilot G2 in a black ink. It's This is ultra fine. These were about $4 for the pack of three. Um, I mean, it's not that expensive. This is point, point three eight. so it's a very fine. Let me see if I can do, let me do a pen. Let me show you. I'll open one so you can see how fine this is. So this is the, oh, it looks very fine. Uh, let me zoom you in. How fine is it? Look how fine that is. The tip is very fine. So I got those and I bought okay, I bought the Uniball um, gel pens in a point one pack in a point seven and these are the micro point five. So these are the Signo um, Uniball Signo pens so and this you can see the difference already this is a very darker ink than the Pilot G2 Ultra Fine maybe it's got to do with the the um, the fact that that's Ultra Fine I'm not sure but I'll test these ones too I usually use I usually use a 0.7, but I wanted to get something. Oh, I had the little ball. Yeah, I think the the thicker the tip, the darker the ink. It looks like to me. So there's that. I bought, like I said, I'm I'm getting a bit obsessed with pens, and then I just bought one of these whiteouts because I needed a whiteout, but I didn't end up using it. I wanted to use it for my planning because I did, I honestly didn't do a lot of planning while I was there. It became, I used my daily inserts from Natty Planning as just a way to jot down what I was doing so I can do my memory planning with. Okay, the next thing I did was I went to, um, I went to Ross and I got a few things and then I saw this mug. Let me zoom you out. I saw this mug that says she could, so she did. It's so pretty. It's got, again, I'm not gonna use it to drink. It's too pretty to drink of and I don't wanna crack it. This will probably be used as a pen holder too. Look, you know, I, I wanna separate my pens. So I've got my, my flares, I've got my fancy pens, but so I got that from Ross and then I went to Dollar Tree and these were literally 30 cents and what these are are some cookie gift boxes. So there's two in here so you get two boxes and two stickers to seal them and they were originally a dollar, they were 30 cents reduced. So I got two of those and then I got these mini treat boxes. Uh, for 30 cents again, there's three in there with a handle and I got them because I want to I like to give Sweets or treats that we bake every year away as gifts and these are just perfect I think and then I got these these are some gel pens cheap gel pens from Walmart These were like 63 cents for the both and they're fine point they're point seven millimeter let me see how it makes a difference. I'll just borrow Walmart. Yeah. I mean, they write really well. And it's a dark. They write really well. But I did. I only got two of these. I, I was just passing by and I had to buy. I saw them for 63 cents. I'll get them. And that's my haul from the US, you guys. That's everything. Um, do I wish I bought more? I do actually, I wish I got so much more, but again, it was a space issue. I forgot I was allowed to have an extra, like I only had bought two suitcases over. The third suitcase my son's grandmother gave to me, and I wish 
I remembered I was allowed to have four checked luggages because I would have bought more. But I mean, also, it wasn't even time permitting. I didn't have time to go out and shop as much as I wanted to also. But that's it. That's my haul from the US. Um, I will be... Um, I will be use I will be using some of this stuff when I speak. I'm going to be setting up my my TNs, my A6 and my other B6 TN pretty soon. So I will film that. So you you will see my setup. And also once I set up my desk, I'll show you how I used all the pen holders. You know, I might even do like a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for sticking around. I wasn't sure if I was going to lose any followers. Like, um, but you know, because I haven't filmed for two weeks and I was itching to get back to it. I was itching to show you all my goodies and I'll be back because I'll be filming uh, my sticker haul that I received, all my stickers that I received while I was away. And of course, another plan, my plan with me is, and I'll catch you all up with my budget, how I went overseas and all the good things um click to subscribe if you're not following um to get notifications obviously for more videos and i will see you soon bye